If you film with your GoPro underwater frequently, then you know that the right settings matter. We all want to create the best looking shots of the underwater world. And this can be done with your GoPro camera. Everything from your resolution to your ISO settings matter. And if you have them just right, you can capture some awesome underwater footage. What's going on guys, it's Raymond here. Today I'm going to be giving you the best settings for underwater use with your GoPro Hero 11. Now before I get into this, if you love underwater and GoPro videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on. Starting things off, let's go over resolution and frame rate. Your resolution and frame rate are really important for underwater video. I'll break this down into two categories, snorkeling and diving. When it comes to snorkeling, this is when you really want to use a higher frames per second, like 120 or even 240. My recommendation for snorkeling is to use 4K 120, because you still have a great resolution and you can really really slow down your footage. You can also use 2.7K 240 if slow motion is the most important thing to you. However, the only downside of this is that 10-bit color isn't available. But I'll dive into your video's color later on. Now when it comes to diving, you should be filming in at least 4K video. Now this all comes down to what kind of a shot you want to capture. My recommendations are 4K 120, 4K 60, and 5.3K 60. You don't really need to have the higher frame rates when diving, but I still film in at least 60 60 frames per second so I can slow down my footage a little bit. Which of these settings you choose to go with comes down to whether or not you want to use 10-bit color. This feature works in 4 and 5.3k 60. I've typically always used 4k 120 when I dive, and I still will some of the time, but I think I'm going to switch it up to 5.3k 60 for 10-bit. However, this higher resolution will drain your battery life a little quicker. So to recap, for snorkeling I recommend 4k 120, and for diving I'd roll with 5.3k 60 if you want 10 bit color, but if not, 4K 120 works really good as well. Now let's dive deeper into your settings. First of all, you should always have hyper smooth stabilization turned on. The number one problem I see with underwater video is the lack of stabilization, but hyper smooth helps correct this. You can also use hyper smooth boost, which amps up the smooth video. Now let's talk about your ISO settings. If you're going to be in shallow water with a lot of available light, then you should have your ISO minimum set to around 200 and your max set to no more than 1600. But if you're going in deeper water, say more than 40 or 50 feet, your ISO minimum should be more than 200, and your max around 3200 or so. The darker it'll be, the higher these numbers should be. Next, let's talk about your white balance. This can pretty much overcome the fact that you're not using 10-bit color if you're filming in 4K 120. The more blue the water is, the more you should crank up the red channel. I wouldn't recommend turning this up all the way, but a few notches will make your video look great. This is also a substitution for dive filters. I don't really recommend using filters anymore, and this is exactly why. If you crank up the red channel, you'll get colors like red, orange, and yellow to pop more in your video. Now I want to talk about the most controversial part of underwater settings, your field of view. If you don't really care or want to worry about it, then leave your GoPro set on wide. This does create a little bit of a fisheye look, which is good for underwater video, so you can't go wrong with it. However, I almost always use linear while underwater now. Why? Well, because this tends to give my shots the most cinematic look, which is what I'm going for. It makes some of the smaller stuff in your video seem closer than it would in wide, and it just creates a really crisp look. If you're liking the way that my underwater footage looks, then set your field of view to linear. You can also use some of the really wide fields of view. This isn't something you should use a lot, but maybe just for a shot or two. Now I haven't been able to test this out underwater yet, but getting an almost 180 degree shot of a reef would look pretty cool. Again, I wouldn't use this all the time, but it's something to keep in mind. Alright guys, now that is pretty much going to wrap up today's video. Now again, if you love underwater videos, whether that's diving, snorkeling, or GoPro tips just like this one, make sure to subscribe to my channel. But before you go, make sure to smash that like button, comment down below what you think, and most importantly, subscribe with notifications turned on so you never miss out on awesome videos just like this one. I'm Raymond Tiller, and I'll see you on the next video.